M0FXB, welcome to M0FXB. Just a quick one on showing you how to select a group. So here we are, we are in single mode. How do we do single mode? You just hold your finger here. There's dual mode, A and B, look, A, B. So single mode, we wanna do use the A band. So we'll hold that. And we're now, we're still in memory mode at the moment. Now, how do we go into VFO? I'll just show you memory mode, look, flicking through different memories. VFO, hit here. Select VFO here, VFO, there you go, VFO, and then if you push it again, you can select different frequencies. Memory, okay, so how do we go, how do we go into a different groups? Because this radio has the facility to, to, to go, to create separate groups. Why have groups? Well, you could have one group D-star, one group FM analog, VHF, another group um, UHF, another group airband, you get the idea. So, all you do is go, click the quick button here, quick. And look, straight away, group select. So hit group select. And then you can, you know, you can create groups as well. These are all blank groups. Or we can just select a, previously, a previous group. So we select this one here. I know it's quite random group. But anyway, group 28. We're now in group 28. Let's go back to memory. As you can see, there's not much in there. So you're not recognizing much. But we're in group 28 and VFO. There's VFO. Um, memory back into group. Now another nip, another tip, when you scroll, so we're scrolling through that group there and eventually it'll just go round and round, group 28 is going through all the channels, not that there's many in there. Now if we want we can actually change that, if we select the quick button and instead of selecting group select, go channel select group, push that and instead of the current group go to all groups so now it's going to scroll through all of our groups so if we've got 20 groups look 25 group 25 group 24 group 23 do you get it and you're now able to scroll through all of your groups so i hope you find this interesting it's a great radio and if you want the scope on just go menu scope there you go and then we can select my usual group let's go back with the vfo button go to memory mode and i let's go back to my group like so. Oh, we have to turn the scope off to do that. Just one sec, we'll just go back. Menu, scope. Hit VFO twice, you come out of that. Now go menu, group select, and I think the one I, I haven't got many in here at the moment, my channels, and there's some, a group that I've got. There you go. The other tip is if you go to VFO mode and you wanna change band, you can go quick band select there you go You've got all these bands here on the a band on the b band if we go back b band you have less to select so we go quick band select and you've got less on the b band there you go seven three thanks for watching all the best m0 fxb let's name a memory channel so we're in memory mode if i hit this vfo here we're in vfo mode so stay in memory mode by pushing MR once, we're in memory mode. Let's select any channel, hold down MW again, hold your finger down until it, you get the edit option, and then hit edit, like so, and now hit the quick button here at the bottom, quick, and we can now name it. And let's give it a quick name, we'll just turn the VFO knob here at the top, like so, and then across with the low button, low is for changing the power by the way, across low we'll just call it AAA hit enter like so now hit the memory button again actually now hit enter first then the memory button then click overwrite yes completed now when you go into memory well it's already took me to memory already you, we've now named that channel hope this helps seven three all the best M0 FXP, I thought I'd just do a quick refresher on adding a memory channel on the ID52 because I've got a few messages asking. So, just a quick one, we'll do it really fast. So, you're in dual receive here, A, B, A, B, okay? Hold down the main and then you just single receive and we'll do it on two meters. How do you select different bands? Just do quick then look, band select, select that. You can select different bands and we're on the A band, okay? So we'll back out by pushing the VFO button. So we've got this, we wanna select our tones ETC. So just go quick and you can select duplex tone plus or minus. 
and do quick again and you can select tone or tone squelch you see okay so select the one you want go back with the VFO button just quickly push menu again menu go to set uh, duplex tone and this time you can just set the frequency you know 94.8 or if it's tone repeat a tone same again they are so you've set everything you want to set everything's in there that you need push VFO button to come out and now you just want to store it so it's very simple you literally just hold down MW uh, right to new channel and then you can select a blank one see if I go backwards look we start to see channels that I've already created if I go forwards we have a, a blank memory channel. Go like though. So we'll go to blank channel here, hit enter, then go up, hit yes, and you have now set a new channel. For the tagging, we'll do a completely separate video. 7.3, that's how you add a quickly, add a memory channel to your ICOM ID 52. 7.3, all the best.